Hi, in this video lesson we will get acquainted with a special kind of numerical sequence, which is called an arithmetic progression. Let's consider the following numerical sequence. 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, and so on. You see that there is some peculiarity in this numerical sequence. Namely, each subsequent number is obtained from the previous one by adding 3. That is, 2 became 5 by adding 3, 5 became 8 by adding 3, and so on. So, such a sequence, which has such a property, that each subsequent number is equal to the previous one, plus some other number, the same number, is called an arithmetic progression. It can be written as follows. A n, an arithmetic progression, denoted by this sign. If A n is equal to the previous number, A n minus 1, plus some other number, constant d. The number d, 3 in this case, is called the difference of the progression. Let's take a look at an example. Sequence 15, 13, 11, 9, 7, and so on. This will be in the arithmetic progression, where 15 is the first term, and the difference d will be minus 2. Indeed, we add minus 2 to get 12 from 15, minus 2 to get 11 from 13, and so on. Also, such an example of a sequence can be an arithmetic progression. 1, 1, 1, 1, and so on. We add number 0 each time. Such a sequence in which all terms are equal is called stationary. As you can see, an arithmetic progression is a sequence that is given recurrently. Let's try to derive its analytical formula. To do this, let's find a sequence. a1 is equal to a1. a2 will be equal a1 plus 2 plus d. a3 will be equal to a2 plus d. Let's now substitute this expression instead of a2. It will be a1 plus d plus d, or a1 plus 2d. Let's try to express a4. A4 is equal to A3 plus D. And we put this expression instead of A3. We get A1 plus 3D. You have probably already noticed some regularity. For example, A4 is obtained by adding A1 and 3D. Then it is easy to get the formula. AN will be equal to A1, that is, the first member of the sequence, plus N minus 1, multiplied by D. This expression is called the formula of the nth term of an arithmetic progression. Let's take a look at an example. Let's have some arithmetic progression, in which a1 is equal to 2, and the difference d is equal to, let's say, 3. It is required to find the tenth term of this progression. In order to find the tenth term of this progression, we will use this formula. a10 will be equal to a1, that is, 2 plus n minus 1. n is 10 in our case, so 9 multiplied by d that is multiplied by 3. This will be equal to 29. Thus, using this formula, we can find any term of the sequence without using the recurrence relation. Let's try to derive the sum of the nth members of an arithmetic progression. This value is denoted as Sn, and it is equal to the sum of all members, a1, a2, and so on, up to a nth. In order to find this sum, let me write down the same expression, but in reverse order. a n plus a n minus 1, preceding, and so on, up to the first a1. Now let's take a look at the next expression, a1 plus a n. What will it equal to? Using the formula for the nth term, we can get that this is equal to 2 a1 plus n minus 1 d. Let's now find a2 plus a n minus 1, also using the formula of the nth term, a2 is a1, plus d, a n minus 1 is a1, plus n minus 2 d. We get the same expression, 2 a1 plus n minus 1 d, if we combine these terms. So you notice that a1 plus a n will be equal to a2, plus a n minus 1, since the right sides are equal. We can similarly find a3 plus a n 
minus 2. These expressions will also be equal, so all these sums are equal to each other. Let's go back to the sum. Let's add these two expressions. What will we get? On the left we get 2sn. On the right we get a1 plus an, a2 plus an minus 1, and so on, an plus a1. As we have seen, all these expressions look identical, so we can take only one of them. a1 plus an and multiply by the total amount. The total number of terms is n. Then we can get the formula from here. Sn is equal to a1 plus an divided by 2 multiplied by n. This is the formula for the sum of the nth members of an arithmetic progression. We can rewrite it using the formula for an and get it in the following form. Sn will be equal to we put a1 plus n minus 1 d instead of a n. Then we get 2a1 here plus n minus 1 d divided by 2 multiplied by n. We can use any of these formulas depending on the case. Let's take a look at an example. Let's have an arithmetic progression. The first term of each is equal to 1. The difference d is equal to 2. It is required to find the sum of 5 terms. According to the formula S5 will be equal to, as we know, 2a1 plus n minus 1d, that is plus 4d, divided by 2, multiplied by n, that is multiplied by 5. Now substitute the values. 2a1 is 2, plus 4d is 8, divided by 2 times 5. 10 and half is 5, 5 times 5, 25. So the sum of the first 5 terms will be equal to 25. Let's consider the following expression, a n minus d. What will be equal to the nth term of the progression if we subtract the difference from it? This will be equal to the preceding term, a minus 1. And if we add d to these a n, then we get, on the contrary, the following term. That is, a n plus 1. Let's add these two expressions. On the left we get 2 a n minus d and plus d will go away. There will be a n minus 1 plus a n plus 1. We can get the following from here. A n is equal to A n plus 1 plus A n plus 1, divided in half. This expression means that each term of the progression, except the first and last, is equal to the arithmetic mean of two adjacent members. Actually, the progression is called arithmetic because of this property. This property is called the characteristic property of an arithmetic progression. This means that some sequence A n is an arithmetic progression if and only if, when this expression is executed. Let's take a look at an example. Let's suppose we have some numbers as an expression 2x minus 1, 3x, 8x minus 3. And it is required to determine at what value x these three numbers will form an arithmetic progression. In order to find it out, let's use this property. That is, the middle term of the progression, 3x, must be equal to the arithmetic mean of two adjacent terms. That is, 2x minus 1 plus 8x minus 3. Now there will be 2x plus 8x, 10x, 10x divided by 2, 5x, minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4, divided by 2, minus 2. 5x minus 2 is equal to 3x, so we get that x will be equal to 1. So these three numbers form an arithmetic progression at x equal to 1. This video lesson is over.